here here I am in my in my sleeping room, my my bedroom. And uh, if you listen, you can hear I'm listening to a little bit of music. So uh, let's investigate that. Where is it coming from? We've got well, we've got a clock radio here. Now the music's not coming from that. Wouldn't be able to put out that much sound. It would sound real tinny. So let's take a look under the bed. Do I have speakers under there? No, nothing under the bed. Maybe under the bedside table? No, nothing there either. What we got? Oh! There we are. A Sony floor standing loudspeaker. SSF 5000 to be exact. It, oh, another one. There are two of them, one on either side of the bed here. So, if there's nothing under the bedside table and nothing under the bed, then how am I powering these two Sony speakers? Therein lies my secret. A very cheap and effective way to give multi-story audio to my townhouse here. And I will show you what I did to achieve that. Follow me to the living room here. You'll see that I've got it playing through these two ELAC debut F6s coming out of this stereo receiver here. You can see it says phono. I got the record playing right there. So what I did is I take the cabling from the from the receiver here, the amplifier, and I feed it through the first story heating and air conditioning duct. And from there, a lot of walking today. It goes into the basement. There you can see it coming out of that vent. And I've fed it across to the vent that goes up to the second floor. And I'll show you in a sec where it comes out in the upstairs vent behind the headboard of my bed. Effectively splitting the audio channel upstairs. There it is coming out of the vent. There it is. I used some thicker gauge wire upstairs because I ran out of the speaker cabling. But you can see the thicker white gauge wire right there. So there you have it. That is my solution to giving myself upstairs audio. And the best part is that let me just restart this it's about to stop anyway let me just set it back to a different track there we go just so that there's audio coming out we have a mechanical switch on the actual amplifier here to select you can see speaker groups A and B. So, this is no speakers playing. This is A group, which are just the ELACs here. You can see. Kind of hear it. I'd have to turn up the volume to maximize it. But then, we turn up speaker B kind of hear it in my center channel there but the upstairs audio clear as a bell that's because these two speakers are the left and right channels for speaker set B also from speaker set B I have just decided to create a center channel for my television setup here and if I put on both of them, I can play and listen to audio from 
the downstairs speakers at the TV and seamlessly walk upstairs and listen to them in my bedroom. So there you have it. A cheap, virtually free solution to multi-story audio. If you want to set this up yourself, you pretty much have everything you need. If you've already got an audio setup, all you need is a home with vents, HVAC that goes from floor to floor, and uh, obviously a long enough cable. Two cables for either speaker, I suppose you'd need. Well, that's it. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, I listen to music upstairs all the time, and uh, yeah.